Welcome back everyone to Catherine's Plates. I have my Instant Pot out right here. As inspiration for you guys, I have four of my family's favorite recipes that I make in the Instant Pot. Now, if you need more inspiration, I have a playlist down below. So if you got an Instant Pot for Christmas and haven't unwrapped it yet, unboxed it yet, you still have it laying in your pantry, grab it, take it out. I'm going to show you how easy it is to use it with these for upcoming videos. Okay guys, let's get started. On the front of your Instant Pot, you're gonna go ahead and push the saute function for 30 minutes. We're gonna add one tablespoon of oil, half an onion, and we're gonna saute that down until it's nice and soft. Let's go ahead and add one pound of ground beef. Now we're going to break this up and then we're going to brown it up until it is no longer pink on the inside. Let's go ahead now and add one teaspoon of minced garlic. And then we're going to mix that all together. We're going to go to a wooden spoon and just make sure we're scraping the bottom of any bits and pieces. Let's go ahead and add one tablespoon of flour, one can of cream of mushroom soup, three cans of beef broth, and then we've got quarter teaspoon of black pepper, quarter teaspoon of paprika, and then eighth of a teaspoon of salt. Let's go ahead and mix that up really well. Just make sure that you are stirring the bottom also to get any bits and pieces up. We're going to go ahead now and add three cups of uncooked egg noodles. Now as we're adding these, you don't want to stir it in, you just want to make sure that we are pushing the noodles into the mixture and the liquid there to cover all of the egg noodles. Let's go ahead and place our lid on. We're going to lock it in place. On the back of the unit, we have a knob there. We're going to go ahead and make sure that it is in the sealing position. Now on the front of the unit, we're going to go ahead and hit the cancel button for the saute function. We're going to hit the pressure cooker adjust the time to eight minutes. It's going to come up to pressure and then it's going to count down the eight minutes. Then we're going to do a natural release for five minutes and then release any leftover steam. When that pin drops, let's go ahead and open up the lid away from ourselves so we don't get a steam bath. We're going to go ahead and add one cup of sour cream. Let's mix that all up, give it a good stir, and then if you want to garnish with some parsley, doesn't that look delicious? On the front of the Instant Pot, we're going to go ahead now and push the saute function in 30 minutes should come up. That'll give us plenty of time to saute everything we need to. Now I'm going to add one tablespoon of butter, one tablespoon of some olive oil. We're going to bring that to a sizzle. We're going to add chopped carrots, celery, and onions. And we're going to get those all mixed up with some seasonings of salt and pepper. We're going to cook these until they're nice and soft. Now I have about 12 potatoes here that I've just quartered. We're going to season with a little bit of salt and pepper because we are seasoning as we go. We're going to go ahead and just mix this together. Okay, I've got one teaspoon of minced garlic I'm going to add and stir that in. Now I'm using boneless, skinless chicken breast here, about one, one and a half pounds, and I just cut those into bite-sized pieces. We're going to add this in and then just kind of give this a stir. Now we want to add some other flavorings here. I have some poultry seasoning, and we're going to add two teaspoons in. It'll be really delicious. Okay, to stir that up, we're going to add two cups of chicken broth for some more flavor and also as a liquid to help pressurize our unit. Let's go ahead now on the front of the unit. We're going to hit the cancel function for the saute. Now, place your lid on. We're going to lock it into place. On the back of the unit, there's a knob, and you want to make sure that that is pushed to the ceiling position. 
on the front of the unit. We're going to hit the pressure cooker button for 15 minutes, which came up right here. Now it's going to come up to pressure. It's going to count down the 15 minutes. Then we're going to do a quick release. In the meantime, we're going to go ahead and start our biscuits. We are using refrigerated biscuit dough. Now I am rolling these out to double the size, cutting those in half and cutting the halves into quarters, giving us eight pieces for each biscuit. Now if you're using the larger biscuits, you'll probably need five of them. If you're using the smaller biscuits, then you can use about eight of them. Now our 15 minutes is up, so what we're going to do is do a quick release, removing, moving the knob to the venting position, the pin is dropped. Open up the lid away from you and go ahead and turn off the unit. What we're going to do is add one cup of some chicken broth. Stir that up. Now we're going to take our biscuit pieces and place them all around the mixture on the top. Don't push these biscuit doughs in or stir them in. Just leave them on the top. We're placing the lid on. Lock it into place. Make sure your knob on the back of the unit is in the sealing position. On the front of the unit, we're going to go to the pressure cooker button, push that, and then we're going to put our time down to 10 minutes. Then we're going to do a quick release on that. We're going to move the knob from sealing to venting to let out all of that steam, and then we want that pin to drop. and then remove the lid. Make sure you do that away from yourself so you don't get all that steam in your face. Look at those dumplings. Look at the color of them. Oh my gosh, they look so delicious. I'm just gonna take a wooden spoon and just kind of push them away from the sides there. Then what we're gonna do is add half a cup of some frozen peas. I'm going to add half a cup of some heavy whipping cream, which will help thicken up our juice that's in the pan there. Just give this a stir and just be really careful with the dumplings. Turn off your Instant Pot. Look at how thick that is. Guys, all you need to do at this point is put it in your bowl. Look at those potatoes, carrots, peas, celery, those dumplings, and that delicious gravy. Got your spoon? Okay, I've got 14 ounces of frozen meatballs and 10 ounces of elbow uncooked pasta that we're going to add to our sleeve of our Instant Pot. Got one onion, two celery, and two carrots that I've minced, and we're going to season that with eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper and some garlic salt to taste. I'm going to add in 42 ounces of a beef broth. We're going to give this a mix until it's well incorporated. Go ahead and place our lid on, lock it into place on the back of the unit. Make sure you push your knob to the sealing position. On the front of the unit, we're going to hit the pressure cooker button and we're going to set the time for nine minutes. And we're going to do a quick release on this. So it's going to build pressure right now and then it's going to count down the nine minutes. And once it hits zero, we're going to go ahead on the back of the unit using a towel or a spoon. We're going to move the knob from the sealing position to the venting position. And then now what we're doing is waiting for that pin to drop, which means it is safe to open our Instant Pot. So we're going to turn the lid and then we're going to remove it away from us so all that steam goes elsewhere. Doesn't that look delicious? We're going to go ahead and get a ladle here, start mixing things up. Look at that pasta, nice and cooked. All those flavors went right into those meatballs. Okay, guys, make sure that you are subscribing to my channel if you're new. Give me a thumbs up as you go along. We have one more video that I am going to do for you right here, which is Instant Pot Jalapeno Popper Soup. 
Okay, you're going to need one to one and a half pounds of boneless, skinless chicken breast. Now, I'm using the tenders here. It's got about six of them. We're going to mince two teaspoons of garlic. We're going to dice up half an onion. We're going to need half a cup of cooked bacon pieces or crumbles, half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Now, I've got five jalapeno peppers here, and to make this soup nice and warm, we're going to deseed it and take the membranes out and chop these up. Season with some salt, pepper, paprika, some cumin. I've got some green onions here we're going to dice up for the end of it. And then I've got chicken broth. We're going to need three cups, four ounces of some cream cheese, one cup of some Fiesta blend cheese or any other shredded cheese. And then don't forget we're going to need some cooking oil to make all of this happen. On the front of the unit we're going to hit the saute button. And it's going to come up 30 minutes, which is what we need to kind of cook everything down. We're going to add one tablespoon of our cooking oil into the Instant Pot sleeve here. Let's go ahead and add the jalapenos that we've already deseeded, took the membrane out, and chopped into pieces. And we're going to saute these down for about two to three minutes, start getting them nice and soft. We're going to go ahead and add our half of an onion that we've diced, saute that down, and then we're going to add our two teaspoons of minced garlic. We're going to cook this down for one minute. While that's happening, let's go ahead and salt and pepper both sides of our chicken. Now we're going to go ahead and place our chicken into the bottom of the Instant Pot sleeve. Now I did move the onions and peppers over just a little bit so that the chicken can brown. Now we just want to brown it on one side and then we're flipping it over and browning it on the other. You don't have to fully cook the chicken at this point. I'm going to go ahead now and season with about half a teaspoon of some cumin half a teaspoon of some paprika. Go ahead and mix that up. It's smelling good in there. Those flavors, they just rock. I'm adding three cups of chicken broth, half a cup of some heavy whipping cream, and we're going to stir that all together. I've got half a cup of the bacon bits going in. Now you want a flat edge utensil here and what we're doing is scraping the bottom of the pan here to get all the little bits up from when we were browning the chicken because you don't want to get that burn notice while you know everything is cooking in the instant pot. So as we're mixing we're just pushing the pan around making sure we get all those bits up. Okay let's place our lid on, lock it into place on the back of the unit. We have a knob and we want to make sure that we push it to the ceiling position. On the front of the unit, we're going to hit that soup button. And we're going to set the time for 25 minutes. Now it's going to come up to pressure and then it's going to count down the 25 minutes. When it hits zero, we're going to do a quick release on it, which is right now. So what you want to do is move the knob on the back of the unit from your ceiling position to the venting position. Now you can use a towel, you can use a spoon, or you can just use your finger. Make sure all the steam is released. The pin on the back of the unit will drop down when it is safe to remove the lid. And there we go. Okay, remember always when you remove your lid, do it away from yourself so you don't get a steam bath. I'm just taking a chopper here and breaking up the chicken. I'm going to add my four ounces of cream cheese into slices there. One cup of some finely shredded cheese, any kind of blend that you want. I'm using the Fiesta blend. We're going to mix this up until it's all melted. We're going to put this in a bowl. Look at that. Garnish with some extra cheese, bacon crumbles, and your green onions. And who can pass this soup up? All you need now is a spoon. 
Okay, what did you think of my four family favorite recipes in the Instant Pot? Let me know down in the description box below. Don't forget that over here I have the playlist for it, for my Instant Pot, so go check it out. Thumbs up, you guys. Comment down below if you're new to my channel. Hit that subscribe button. I will see you on my next episode.